Hi there everyone, Matt here. I hope you're well. Today I'm asking you three quick questions. One, are you using Microsoft 365? Two, if you are, are you using Microsoft Intune? Three, if you are, did you know that Microsoft don't back it up? Yep, that's right. Microsoft do not back up your Microsoft Intune configuration. You can spend hours and hours and hours defining policies, creating different applications, and ensuring that you've got everything all automated for an out-of-the-box experience for your users in the cloud, only to have it destroyed. Um, in this video, I'm gonna quickly show you how you can protect at a very basic level your Intune in, uh, environment for free, um, how you can back it up using a simple PowerShell script uh, to some local storage or some Azure Cloud storage or something like that, just to give you a very basic level of protection. And like I said, it's free. It's gonna cost you absolutely nothing apart from maybe 10 or 15 minutes of effort to get this going on. So. What I'm going to do is move over to my office and show you how we do that uh, now. And we're back over at my PC and over here I have got the Intune Backup and Restore module ready. So just Google Intune Backup GitHub and you'll find it. It will be the top result. Um, so I have already run through the install instructions, but they are very, very simple. Once you've done that, you need to connect to Microsoft Graph. If this is your first time doing this, then you will need to um, grant permission to the application. So once we've connected to Graph, we need to import the module Intune Backup and Restore. That will make sure we've got the commandlets ready for use. Um, these are all the different backup actions you can take. These are the different restore actions you can take. There's also a really handy comparison feature as well, um, which is quite, quite good. So, um, you need to make sure that you've got a valid path. In this case, I'm going to be using some local storage, ctemp intune backup. Now that we've started that, you can see that this directory is starting to fill up. And what is happening in the background is along with this folder structure, a number of JSON files are also being created um, to, to effectively um, lay out the configuration that I've got in my tenant. So if I was to go into the device compliance policies and then open up the iOS BYOD default policy that I've got here, we can see that I've got some settings to find in here. So um, for example, passcode minimum length is four. Now, this is a very simple policy. I have a very limited number of policies because I only have myself in my tenant. I'm a freelancer, um, but you may have 40, 50, maybe even 400 users, and you might have lots of these policies. Um, one of the really handy things that this tool can do, along with just simple backups and restores, is that you can actually do a compare as well. So you can compare two backup files for changes. So if you're doing a project where you are uh, making changes in the directory, or maybe a whole team are, you can have a look at, um, say, week one, you could take a backup, and then week three, four, review all the changes that have been made um, and use it as uh, part of your documentation. Um, again, really, really handy tool. It's it's free. Um, you have the ability to back up a portion of the tenant that Microsoft simply don't back up for nothing. You could use local storage. You could use Azure storage. You could use a number of different options here, some network attached storage, whatever works for you. Uh, you could run this as a scheduled task on a regular basis. You could automate this. There's a whole different bunch of uh, functions that you could add and layer up on top of this to make it a fully featured tool for you, but all I'm doing is showing you the functionality exists. And if you want to get a simple, quick and easy backup done to give you a full back position, you can get this done in about 10 to 15 minutes by yourself for free to some local storage for a little bit of added peace of mind. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please, please, please give it a like, give it a share uh, or drop a comment and engage. I'd love to hear your feedback. Uh, the engagement really, really helps me um, thrive and, and keep producing content, keep wanting to produce this content. Even if I just, if I know that I've helped someone, then, then it's been worth it. I hope you have a great rest of your week. Thank you very much for watching. And until the next video, I'll see you again soon. Thanks.